Afghanistan, as it is called the graveyard of empires, have been proven its name once again. Whether it be the mighty Mongols, clever Britishers, the Soviets and now the Americans. All have been forced out by the native tribals. The modern time Afghanistan conflict can be studied with the beginning of the Great Game. The Great Game was a political and diplomatic confrontation that existed for most of the 19th century and the beginning of 20th century between the British Empire and the Russian Empire over Afghanistan and neighboring territories in Central and South Asia. Britain feared that Russia planned to invade India and that this was the goal of Russia expansion in the Central Asia, while Russia feared the expansion of British interest in the Central Asia. Britain made it a high priority to protect all the approaches to India. This result in a series of unsuccessful war for the British to control Afghanistan, Bukhara and Turkey. The British lost all the four wars, resulting in Russia taking control of several Khanids, a political entity ruled by a Khan. After the Third Afghan War in 1919, the Dorant Line, which exists even today between Afghanistan and Pakistan, was drawn between Afghanistan and British India. After this period, till Soviet Revolution of 1978, Afghanistan was ruled by several monarchs. In 1978, co-led by Soviet-backed People's Democratic Party of Afghanistan or PDPA, Noor Muhammad Taraki was placed as the president of Afghanistan. The East while USSR began to assassinate Soviet resistor which leads to infighting in PDPA and the fearing the Islamic uprising Soviet forces marched in on 24th of December 1979. This action of Soviet was opposed by Organization of Islamic Nation and the UN, the consequences of which lead the Soviet Afghan war between Soviet controlled government of Afghanistan and the Mujahideens. The Mujahideens were the insurgent group of fighters in the holy war, Jihad. They were covertly supported by Pakistan, Turkey, China, Arab nation, and the US was a part of Cold War. The CIA of US played in great role of asserting U.S. influence in Afghanistan. Nine years into the war, Soviet had made a little progress and realized they can't win, thus become to pull out from Afghanistan in 1989. The Soviet-backed President Mohammad Nizibullah made a way for Mujahideen's coalition government and agreed to Peshawar Accord of 1992. This interim government was paralyzed from the beginning. The war lord, few of which were supported by ISI of the Pakistan and few Arab nations, begin to fight for the power, thus giving rise to another civil war. In this period, in 1994, Taliban rose to power, which was started by Mullah Muhammad Omar as a movement of religious student or Talibans, educated mostly in Pakistan. On 27th of September 1996, Taliban controlling considerable part of Afghanistan, including Kabul, pronounced their Islamic emirates of Afghanistan. From 1996 to 2001, the Taliban held power over roughly three quarters of Afghanistan and enforced a strict interpretation of Syria or Islamic laws. In Afghanistan, before the Taliban's, the infrastructural investment and the Western influence of 1960s and the early 70s created a socio-political climate much different than the one that dominates the last several decades. In 1950s and 1960s, some of the biggest strides were made toward a more liberal and westernized lifestyle while trying to maintain a respect for more conservative factions. In 1960s, Afghanistan was a stark contrast to all the war-torn region we recognize today. 
the civil war in the ultra conservative taliban regime demolished all the progress taliban quickly imposed their harsh interpretation of islam on the territory they control gaining control over most of the countries the taliban imposed their rule forbidding most women from working banning girls from education and carrying out punishment including beating amputations and public executions pakistan saudi arabia and the united arab emirates were the only three countries to recognize taliban rule officially in may of 1996 saudi born al qaeda leader osama bin laden arrived in afghanistan after being expelled from sudan al qaeda was formed to fight soviet afghan war and drew substituents of cia to roast the army of mujahideen and help them was own other than pakistan isi but over the years al qaeda went beyond the brief of americas and learned the title of terrorist group and got banned by un and many other countries taliban rule help al qaeda to carry out terror attack worldwide mostly focus on us the biggest attack on america soil happened was on notorious 911 even after the attack taliban refused to hand over osama bin laden which led to the us led coalition operation enduring freedom targeting the talibans and the al qaeda with military strikes and us back northern alliance entered kabul on november 13 2001 overthrowing taliban's regime In December, Hamid Karzai was named interim president after Afghans group signed in the Bonn Agreement on the interim government. The NATO-led International Security Assistance Force is established under an UN mandate. After almost two decades of war, in February 2020, President Trump and the NATO allies agreed to formally to deal with the talibans and agreed to formulate us troops in 14 months if the talibans upheld the terms of the agreement on 14th april 2021 biden announced his intentions to withdraw all the regular us troops by 11 september 2021 on this news the afghanistan launched an offensive quickly advancing ahead of the collapsing afghan armed forces the fighting range between the talibans and afghan government forces and within days the taliban was at the door of kabul and ultimately on august 15 2021 the talibans took over afghan president ashraf ghani fled the country almost all afghanistan is now under taliban's control it marks the end of an era america's longest war is now over and it lost It happened fast stunning the world and leaving many in the country racing to find an exit The Taliban is not a problem for Afghan people alone under Taliban control Afghanistan will or without doubt become ground zero of radical Islamist terrorism plot against democracies will be hatched here once again But there is still a hope Former Afghan government forces led by Ahmad Masood the son of the late Mujahideen commander Ahmad Shah Masood and deposed vice president Amarullah Shail have started a resistance against the Islamist took over of Afghanistan in Panjshir valley and now the world look up to them with desperate eyes